welcome, it's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, trialling out these um, reusable mixing, reusable um, cups, silicon reusable cups. As you see, they're quite soft and they come with a lid. Um, Cassandra from Fluid Art Co. sent me these to try. So they're reusable. Um, it makes less wa waste, helps make less waste. So you can let the paint dry in the cups when you're finished and then it will just peel out because it's silicone. And the same, I'm told, with the mixing sticks. So I've already um, mixed my paints yesterday. I mixed my paints and put the lid on overnight and I mixed them with my mixing sticks. I'll show you when I've got it. And I just, um, I did just wipe mine off, but you can also let the paint dry on your mixing sticks. So Cassandra tells me and it'll just peel off. But I thought it was, um, I just wiped them all over last night after I left the cup. So yeah, they've got a lid. So once you, like I mixed those paints yesterday and then just put the lid on and it's got a little they have got a little measure on the side if you're into measuring you know that I'm not but um it might be worth me trying now so you can see how much paint you and you've got the lip and you can push them on and so I'm going to try them like they've got these little mixing sticks for the small cups I guess and the larger one so thank you Cassandra for sending me these to try from www.fluidart.com.au so all reusable so no um no waste there now i'm going to use my reusable glove <laughs> my um my gloves now for anybody that's um doesn't like odd things you're going to freak out because i've got two different gloves on for whatever reason i ended up with one black left and this one blue so there you go, I'm going to move that all out of the way. So I have a really nice gallery wrapped canvas. It's 76 by 76 by 61. And I have um, taped, put the masking tape you just get from a hardware shop and I've got my giant push pins um, to hold it up so it's nice and I hope it's in the frame. So this is a canvas I'm going to do for my son that lives down on the Gold Coast that uh, um, he, um, for his own home. And these were the colors that he's requested. So they're definitely not the colors that you probably know me for, the nice bright colors, but um, when you're doing it for somebody else, and I really hope this works, he wanted gray because he's, theme at home in his home is sort of the grey and mustard yellow and uh, bronze I've got. I've got a few colours there that I'm going to try. So what I'm going to do with this to begin with is I'm going to just give it a coat. Oh, I've got a big blob there. I'm going to give it a coat over first with my sponge brush so I can get all of the um, edges done. So I'll just whiz through this without talking if I... Radio, right low blue. As you see, these are quite soft. So it gives you a good, uh, you can grip well. And these is the steerer. So remembering everything's recyclable and the paint will just peel off. I'm told when they're dry, so I'm just thinking how I will, what composition, should I do the V in it? I'm just, oh my goodness, go. Try something a little bit different. So that was the um, phalo blue. Now this is the 
cyan, C-Y-A-N, <laughs> blue. I might start with this one, actually down here. I just really want this to work out first time so I can um, show it to my son and see if he likes it and go from there. Righty, oh. So I'm gonna just put a little bit of the metallic bronze in. Probably not too much. Wow, wow, wow. Now for this, um, the warm yellow, which is wicker, but you can, uh, it, it's called warm yellow as well and very similar. I really hope that this blows out nicely. If not, I will definitely be trying again. So I'm just going to leave it at those colours, I think. I'm going to give it a whiz over with the heat wand. Dryer. Um, I just want to think about this now. How I want to do this. I think I'm going to... I like that. Not sure about that one. I don't like that. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. I'm not, that's not floating my boat. I'm going to just push on with, a, I'm going to just, I'm just going to put some of this sand colour, it's called. I'm just going to see if this all, if not, I'm going to scrape it. Don't, don't judge me. <laughs> I'm just not feeling it. I think I'm not actually liking that. Ooh, gone way off. That cyan, uh, the light blue in that because it stops it. I don't know. I'll just push on. If not, I'm scraping it. My goodness, what have I done? What have I done? I don't like it. I don't like it. I do not like it, okay? Don't scream at me. I don't like it at all. I have to, um, I have to take, <laughs> I have to take it off. I don't know. Oh. My head's not in the right space, I think. We've had a lot of bad news this week and it's just, I thought that it would do me good coming out here into my art room. We've not, we've had so much um, tragedy this week and 
I thought it would do me good coming out here, but I'm gonna just push through it. Just let me think, let me think. Um, yeah, you have these off days. If, you, if you're feeling, yeah, you need to come to your art room because you feel it is the therapy you need, come and have a go. And if things go wrong like they are on me today, I'm just, it's, it's just to me, it's another challenge. And life throws us these curveballs all the time like it has done this week. But I'm going to see what I can do. Uh, go for it again. I will try again with the grey. And I will try again with my spongy brush. Let's go for it. Oh dear. Oh, never mind. That's okay. Bit of a different background, hey? Maybe I just need to do a cup pour through this. Try the dark sea blue. What have I done there? I might put in a bit of the phalo. back to oh yeah try the wicker again just push on if you feel it's failing but certainly give it a try and if it fails again just go back to the drawing board just like you have to do in life I'm not going to put the copper in this one I'll put a bit more of that the sand in I think I've got a blob just come out of my paint but never mind life sends us blobs too oh my goodness let's try this oh ha oh, oh, ha oh. ha okay Okay, let's start here. It's one of those days I am just not feeling it. <laughs> Okie doke, let's give it a go. That's better. It's a. I'm just emotional today. Uh,
not working. It's okay. Yeah, we've had a very, very dear friend get killed in a motorbike accident. needed to paint today, believe it or not. Life certainly throws you curveballs, that's for sure. Yeah, our friend Nick was 49 years old. He wasn't speeding or anything. It seems like he may have had a medical episode and come off his bike and he was found just just two minutes from home. And um, he died. So he's got a lovely wife, Nicole, and he's got two beautiful boys. that are just teenagers and I just hate to think how this will affect them. I just, I don't know. <laughs> I just needed to come out and bait. It's too sad. Too sad. I'm gonna I'm going to leave it at that, guys. I'm so sorry for getting emotional. I needed to do this. and I'll just see if I can... Um, there's a fly landed on it. That's typical. Right here, yeah, I'm going to leave it as it is. And I hope that um, I can get it to something that I'm really happy with. 